Flash Cue Points interactive video video tutorial provided by MasterFlash.net. Uh, this is only a sample video. This is just bits and pieces of what you can find in the uh, full tutorial located on our site. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to drop you in uh, the beginning of part one and just sort of let it roll for a little bit. Interactive video. All right, this is going to be a very cool tutorial. And as usual, what you're looking at is the uh, start file for this part one. And if you look on stage, you can see that I've given you a directory path to the FLV that is included inside of the, um, the uh, folder that you downloaded. And if you want to work inside of this, go ahead. Here's the FLV. All right. And what I've got on stage here is just sort of an area for me to work in. Once this is done, it's going to go straight up to the site. And I'm actually going to use this as a product display on the home page. So uh, you don't have to use this if you want. I'm just going to sort of work inside of this area for this tutorial. And what I would suggest for this tutorial is that you somewhat follow along. Um, I know generally I'd tell you to you know, do your own thing for creating your own project. But I don't want you having to restart this over once we get into uh, naming the cue points, the frame labels, and our button instances. And here's why. Uh, we're actually going to basically give the FLV some metadata. And what I mean by that is we're going to name our cue points the same name as our frame labels and basically the same name as our button instances that we're going to create for these buttons. And what we're going to do is we're actually going to have these names sort of work together in the action script to trigger certain parts of the uh, timeline to display some of the data that we want uh, showing up on stage. And we're basically going to use the same names to uh, not necessarily shorten up the code, but to make the workflow of this real cool. We're actually going to have it work off of uh, you know, once it hits a certain point in the video, it's going to trigger the button functions, and uh, that's how we're going to make it work. So I would suggest that you follow along in this one. And of course, you're looking at the testing file that I had for this one. Um, it's probably going to look a little bit better than this when we get done, and obviously you know what it looks like already. Okay. And uh, the funny thing about this tutorial is we'll probably spend more time dressing up the timeline and stage uh, we'll, we'll spend more time on the timeline and stage than we will actually writing the action script. All right, um, so let's go ahead and set that up. I'm just going to bring this down a little bit and add on a few more layers. All right, I'm going to call this top one labels. Call this next one actions. This next one uh, player actions. Volume actions. And I'll probably get to that last. That way, uh, if you want to use the volume actions, you can. If not, whatever. All right, so this next one, call this uh, FLV playback. Add in a couple more. All right, so for this next one, I'm going to call this, um, I don't know, maybe Q transitions. Because we'll actually put some of our data on the stage for uh, each specific transition. And this next one, I'm going to go ahead and drop this underneath the FLV playback. I'm going to call this... Um, Oh, I don't know, uh, FLV background. All right, so uh, let's go ahead and stretch out our timeline. Oh, no, we can start off at 55, somewhere out here. Just enter the frame. And go ahead and get your properties panel in here. And what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and name all of our labels. All right, so I'm going to come out to the second keyframe, or second frame, come down in here to the frame label and call this um, welcome. Mount about here, insert another keyframe. I call this one uh, master underscore technique. And these names are basically based on the video that you saw on the site. I'm sure that you know exactly what I'm talking about. All right. So this next one's going to be toot underscore source underscore as. Insert another keyframe. This next one, next one's going to be start underscore training. This next one is going to be begin underscore loop. All right. So now that we've got that set up, let's go ahead and put some stop actions on the stage. So uh, about right here, I'm just going to enter the keyframe. I'm going to bring my actions in here. And if you don't know how to do that, hit F9 or come up here to window and bring your actions in. All right. I'm just going to, going to uh, type up stop. Opening, closing parentheses, semicolon. All right. And once you get that set up, 
we go ahead and uh, right click on this keyframe here, copy frames, and we're just going to paste it throughout the rest of this. Paste frames, paste frames. Not necessarily, not necessarily going to use these stop actions. We're going to uh, tell it to stop in the action script, but just as a fail safe. All right. Um, let's see what else we need to do in here. All right. So basically, we're going to need to uh, set up our buttons right now. And what I have set up here, obviously, you can make your own kind of buttons. Just uh, make sure you stay along the same lines of instance names and things like that. So uh, I don't know. For let's see, I'll just throw in another layer up here. Put uh, buttons, etc. All right, and I'm going to use this little uh, piece of my logo that I've got right here as uh, part of these buttons. What I'm going to do, I'm going to get some text on stage. 11 looks good. Good. All right. And I'm just going to set this up right here. I'm going to call this one uh, Welcome. All right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my rulers out by hitting Control Shift Alt R, or you can come up here to View and select rulers right here. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to uh, center this up a little bit by using my free transform tool. I'm going to drag down a line, just kind of line this up. All right, I'll get this out of here. All right, so I'm just going to copy this a few times. That is the end of the Flash Cue Points interactive video sample video to find source files and locate the full video tutorial. Head towards masterflash.net. Hope you enjoy it.